These three expressions are used to uh, describe people. The first one is a late boomer, okay, a late boomer. And this is used to describe people who um, succeed or mature a little bit later in life than most of their peers, most of their friends, or most of the people. For example, she's quite small for her age. She's a late boomer. Or she didn't find a job and settle down until she was 35. She's a late boomer. Wallflower. When you hear this, you might imagine like a wall with flowers on it. Um, but this is a word that we use to describe people who are shy um, and kind of excluded at a party. So when they're um, in front of a crowd with a lot of people at a party or at an event, they're kind of reserved and they sit on the side and they just look, observe rather than participate. The next one is green thumb, a okay, green thumb. And if a person has a green thumb, you notice here I'm using the verb has or have, has a green thumb or have green thumb, that means that they are really good with plants. Um, they know how to take care of plants and they keep the plants alive. I know for me personally, I don't have a green thumb. Um, I have a lot of house plant that I killed and I guess I don't know how to take care of it. So I wouldn't describe myself as someone who has a green thumb. If you are a plant person, someone who likes flowers, um, do you have a green thumb? Um, like I've been saying, and I will keep saying it and keep reminding you, and that is try to make meaningful connections with these new words and phrases that you learn. Um, the examples that you hear me say in these videos are my examples. Um, so try to think of your own example, write sentences with it, and try to use it in your speaking, in your conversation, so that it'll become your vocabulary and you will remember the word and it'll stick.